public speaking event this morning. Personalised jumper. Let's go. Yeah, figured exposure of fame would clear the pressure from veins. Could take the elk out my mama, could free my brother from chains. Could have my sis in the hills, would save my brother from pills. Could keep a heartbeat from stopping, and we said by the Mac Mill. So I'd like to welcome up there, Casey and Gareth. Hi, Casey. Hi, Gareth. Nice to meet you. Nice over the past six months, I've been travelling a lot. Pretty much in the past three weeks, I've been on three planes and I've been in three different countries. Over, well, since January until a few weeks ago, I was studying in Madrid in my second year of university. I studied marketing at the University of Derby and I decided I was going to go on the Erasmus scheme for six months, which involves me going to Madrid in a completely different culture and a completely different language. But I don't let university define me because university nowadays, it's kind of starting to get a bad name and businesses like yourselves might be wondering, well, what is a degree? Most people can now go out there and do a degree. So I've always been the type of person that's wanted to distinguish myself and make myself a little bit different. And so three years ago, I fully got involved in the council and involved with Alice and her team. And I started on this kind of life development journey and here I am today. My name is Gareth Rafferty and I'm going to tell you a bit about me and the journey I've been through since being in care. Guess now my energy's jaded Guess I'm not sure what I need I guess maybe deep inside humans who love me for me Luckily, the person that supported me the most throughout that whole journey was my sister Celine. And some of you will know my sister, she's a great woman and she's recently had a child just over a year ago, now Valentine and I saw her yesterday. And her little kid, she likes to make a lot of noise, and I'm sure Casey, you can relate to that. Kids like to make a lot of noise. Thomas the Tank, so you're here at 4 a.m. And it made me really realise what's important to me, because my younger brothers, luckily, they were brought into care and they had each other and sometimes you don't always have that person to rely on. Being in foster care, that's how we realise how important the people around me are. My life is questions and assumptions and guesses All bottled in just one lesson, labelled in Sharpie, God's blessing hey. No way that we go is a one-way street Nothing that we love is a one-day key And if we gon' do it, we gon' do this now And if we say we gonna I've always been that individualistic person who's always relied on himself and yeah it's very recently that I've realised that the people around me are really important to helping me progress and helping me on my journey and throughout my whole life I've tried to be that individual person but I'm not an, individ I'm not an individual person anymore. I need the people around me and those of you that have kids, those of you that have friends and family, especially youngsters, you'll know that you care a lot for those people. And to have the council looking out for me, to have my, some of my school teachers looking out for me, my sister, who, when we were in foster care together, we argued pretty much daily, but now she's out in her own flat. We, well, she in particular, she likes to message me now and then and tell me to come around. So life has completely changed for me over the past few years. And I'm now on this journey in entrepreneurship. I don't know where it will lead. A year ago I decided, and I spoke to Mark, and I decided, I'm going to try this business thing and see where it takes me. And Mark, well, all of you have a business and you'll know that your first company is scary. You don't have a clue what you're doing. And it's literally like jumping in the sea of sharks and trying to swim away. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what you don't know, which makes it even more difficult. And yeah, I'm on this entrepreneurial journey. My business is Newfound Media. We do podcasting. We help people manage a podcast, start a podcast, run the social media for podcast. Basically, everything around podcasting. Because <laughs> you may think social media is now, 
but social media is yesterday. Yeah. Podcasting is the new future. Yeah. And since 2018, in the USA, they've had 12 million people. 12 million people have started listening to podcasts, and that's set to go to 2022, and we'll see where it goes beyond there. So just a little tip for those of you that don't have a podcast but have your own company. Maybe think about starting a podcast and continue to invest your time and your energy in young people like me because it really pays off. Thank you.